So welcome back to the Female Dota 2 Southeast Asian League Season 2. My name is Maya and we are watching the last game for the night, Pacific DOA vs Triumph. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get myself into the group call right now, so hopefully that I will be able to join them. Gonna be a bit of an issue there, but I do apologize to those viewers who have been looking forward to the games itself. And I will just remake that group call for everyone. I do apologize that um we are having a few more casters in the group today, and uh been having quite a bit of issues so. We'll quickly show you guys the remaining. draft phase that we can actually Radiant Team Ban. There we go. All right, yeah. this is the call. It's working. All right, sorry about that. Yay. Team I forgive you, Maya. It's working. But we've missed so much action. They Where's picked Andy? the first four bands. This is Andy? the first pick. Where's Andy? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Oh, oh sweet. Alright. Shadow Shaman. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Shaman gets picked by Triumph again. Didn't they have Shadow Shaman the last time? Yeah, this is the first pick last time for him. <laughs> the only thing different is that they banned Earthshaker this time. Yeah, but Pacific <laughs> Goa have banned Invoker and they, they really don't want to go against a, an Invoker and a Bristleback. I can understand the Invoker a lot because as you know, Josh, um, I don't <laughs> like I don't like how Invokers play these days. He just goes like Oz, Wex, and then Ten that's like I have I have heard from a very reliable source who may or may not be you Five that seconds, you don't like Invoker. I, I I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I think with Invoker with the Quaz Wex Invoker with the meta it is, it's far too easy to control a team fight. It's like a like level three old and an EMP. I I don't know if I've mentioned this to you before, man. Like I I, I I'm passionate. I'm having deja vu. This. Very, very passionate about the hate. The yeah. <laughs> so much hate in, in this man for that in Quaswax Invoker. Uh, I, I, I just want to say for the record, I just want to let you guys know in case I haven't mentioned it, because I, I, I'm not sure if I have mentioned it. Taking their time with these next two picks because they're trying not to avoid a situation like with last game. Yeah. Oh, I I Honestly. Why? Oh, sorry to butt in, but coming from my experience, Shadow Shaman's very, very uncommon. Very, 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 very uncommon pick in the, in the Australian scene, but those two picks aren't, especially in Asia's being, being very, very globally, and like, maybe if we had a global track coming out, because um, I did see it maybe in the game you were casting before with the Zeus and all that shenanigan. Zeus so maybe, and the crazy spectre with a heart and a radiance and like, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. no boots. Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, she did have a relatively hard start as well, because when I was tuning in, at 20 minutes she had about 43 last hits with the scout shield, Ten and seconds. just a vanguard, I was just like, well, that Spectre's really, really far behind, so we'll have to see how this game just pans out. They, they did did thing. manage to get it back, though, so I was quite impressed with that. Who was it, Josh? Who was the name of the Spectre? Freya. It was, the, it was Team Freya, right? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I was very uh, impressed by how they turned the, that game around. Against the, uh, day, daytime, say, I don't know. Free yeah, their, their global strat worked, and it looks like um, Pacific is attempting the same, or, or sort of the same thing. They did not have a profit in that game, but profit is pretty amazing. Okay, so oh, they're going to try to Spectre. counter no, that. Dire team they, they answer with by picking up a Spectre and saying, no, we're not going to give you Spectre. If you're going to try in that global strat, you're going to have to do it without Spectre. And we're also going to we're also going to get rid of Zeus for you, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> very, very good game. picks. Very good picks. Our game. I wouldn't be surprised. So now they're going to have to try to find a way, like, you can't really detect Triumph's pattern here, but they, Pacific did have a pattern and they got, they got spanked for it, really. Uh, you can tell, like, yeah, with Spectre being, like, one of the latest carries in the game, of course, if not the hardest carry in the game, because of, of just the ab ability set being so, so powerful, um, you run a defensive try majority of the time, and you say, okay, we're going to farm as quickly and as possibly as we can. And it's also a good counter for Nature's Prophet as well, because if that doesn't have a Shadow Blade, she can easily kill and just profit on, on his own. So Even with the Shadow Blade, you can just buy dust, though. Yeah, exactly. So that's a very, very good pick, just from Triumph saying, okay, we're just going to stop you from continuing any level strat, 
and we're yeah. going to defensive try with the Spectre. And, you know, but three, two bands coming out as well, you know, Zeus, just saying, no, we're going to cut you off from any other global strap. We're not going to have any shenanigans. And, you know, so there's a chance for a silencer, and if they're going to be running a try lane with a support silencer, that would actually be a pretty defensive lineup. Not, not a common pick. Not, not common, but not very, very common at all, to be honest. But, you know, it could work. I've honestly never seen it work before, but, you know. Are you talking about for Triumph, or? Yeah, for Triumph, uh, science and support. Who knows? They're, the field he could, they could pick a silencer to pick a man in a different lane, but I, I, I like I like your idea. I think that's what they're going to go for. They're going to go for a tri-lane again. Um, tri-lane seems to be, you know, very common. Pretty standard, yeah. The very high-level games. I think the very high-level games, they tend to they tend to do more roaming now. Like, three solo lanes, I'm noticing. Radiant and two roamers. Yeah, that's what uh, uh, Triumph tried to counter that last game with their own rooms, but that that just punished them even more. They, they really fell apart after that. So let's see how this plays out. Because uh, Pacific's roaming last game was impeccable. So Pacific throw out the centaur and the slark there. Just you know, centaur stampede was an amazing thing to have in a team play. It's just like disengage, engage. This is what that spell basically Five does, and you know, oh, lots Centaur lots is strength. amazing, amazing. Yeah, just the uh, stun, but burst damage from double edge, and also return is actually a pretty damn good spell too. That's you know, slark, just you know, slark. You know, I don't even want to talk about that <laughs> just, hero. Because just being just, slark. <laughs> yeah, you know, leap and his ulti, you, you can't be revealed in it by dust, gem, or anything. Just makes him so so powerful at level six, being able to kill barely anyone. Honestly, like in one that situation. was a pick by, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Slark was a pick by Pacific themselves uh, last game. I guess they don't want to go against them. Yeah, like honestly, I don't blame Pacific Jedi for betting at Slark at all because it's honestly been bad quite a lot throughout the competitive games that I've watched. But you now they're taking quite a time for their third pick, so we do have Pacific Jedi going for a Sand King, which com combination with the AALT does do a lot of damage, <laughs> a lot of magic damage, so. We'll see what Triumphs you want to do to try and you know, get, get something more defensive as maybe that second support or maybe a middle. It's really up to them. Those two picks aren't, especially in Asia. Yes, uh, it'd be interesting to see what Triumph comes up with now. They did get rid of the Clinks. Uh, what do you think that is? Clinks? There's Trilane. Ooh, Lich. There's the Trilane. Um, possibly, possibly Lich offline, though. That's another possibility. It'd be unlikely. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know, really. They could pick but, another yeah, okay, hero. But the thing is about the Lich, though. That Lich strengthens any lane he's in. It doesn't matter where. Yeah. Because of that extra farm, at the same time denying the enemy of that single creep. You know, after a few waves, that's entire creep waves being denied. Yeah. Not only is denied, but given... To your, he, he, that's a good point, though. He could be offline because he's not... Maybe I'm incorrect, but I don't really see as much kill potential in him as you could in other supports. Well, actually, solo offlane Lich has massive everything potential. He he <laughs> will pretty much automatically win that lane. He usually gets an easy solo kill on whoever's farming the the, 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 the opponent's safe lane, just because he gets ahead so much as a solo offlaner. Um, and he's got that massive, you know, he's like several levels ahead, plus a massive frost blast at you know at the top Ten levels, seconds, plus that chain minutes. frost. Uh, I've I've myself have have destroyed um, the enemy carries over and over again. Just <laughs> Not to brag them. or anything. <laughs> just just putting it out there for any of you uh, all all female Dota teams want a stand-in. I will happily <laughs> I'll happily be a stand-in. Uh, I actually I, I, I will cut I like, off my Johnson. I like both of their teams. Uh, they they have a lot of potential for their fifth picks. So, yeah. So we do have. Windranger being picked up, you know, the, maybe that the could Oops. be still offlane. Windranger, yeah, that's probably triumph. So Windranger is generally seen up an offlane here, but I have seen a middle very decently. Wind, Windrunner, Windranger. I, I think I think he's saying Windrunner, but I'm not sure. Windranger. <laughs> I think I think Lich will actually be the support in the tri lane. Uh, I yeah, want to see yeah, yeah, pick yeah, from yeah. mid. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. that's definitely an offlane win Windrunner. Yeah, well, as oh. Vinny, Vinny was saying, just like Lich strength is any lane. But in this situation, you want her her to um, strengthen the tri lane, yeah. the defensive tri lane. You want that Spectre to get farmed. That's 100% what you want to do. I mean, aggressive tri lane with the Sand King Weaver and the AA is actually really, really strong because, you know, Shadow Shaman has to stand still 
when he's trying to, you know, CC with shackles if he decides to get a level 1. And, you know, Lift doesn't really become really effective into a trial lane with uh, damage until about level 6 or level 3 yeah. or 4. Well, so. they're, they're going to be they're gonna be defensive up there because, again, uh, as I said, uh, I was actually willing to accept the idea of Lich being the off lane really? only because he didn't have as big kill potential as, as other uh, support heroes could have had. So they're, they're going to they're gonna wait for Pacific to screw up, basically, in their trial lane. Yeah, exactly right. Um, we did miss the last two bands, so we do have Queen of Pain and the Puck Fiend. Just two very, very standard bands, but um, nice. you know, Storm Spirit or Night Stalker is not being banned, and then we get to do the Night Stalker being done for that aggression. I mean, a lot of the heroes in the Triumphs team are actually very, very weak in the other game. Night Stalker is probably the perfect pickup for Pacific Dota to just do work at the moment. I mean, with the yeah, they had a lot. Of, they had a lot of options to make their team complete, and Night Soccer fits the bill pretty well. It's good to have more strength again, because what I saw Triumph do wrong is they did not pick enough strength. If you don't have enough HP, it doesn't matter how well your kit is, you're going to get screwed. We're going to see a mid hero come out for Triumph that now. Is, um, it'll really probably be going up against a Night Soccer. What if it, do, they need to pick Five a strength seconds, hero? <laughs> 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 well, look. We're, we're talking about tankiness. Spectre's already pretty tanky. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No! Not a strength hero. GG. <laughs> <laughs> then again, all things considered, Spectre and T TA are very tanky agilities. So. Yeah, well, TA's got refraction. So. Yeah. But um, it's not... Honestly, to me, it's not the strength of the hero is what the type of the hero that it's how they're played. And that's that, how that the game is going to whittle down the TA oh, so yeah, easily the, though. The problem oh. is though, um, Pacific Dota's team can be very, very aggressive from levels 1. 2? Two? Two. Like they could kill like, stuff at level throughout, 2. Throughout, throughout the game, their yeah. whole team can be there. Night Stalker roams around the map. Like the Prophet who can TP any time that he wants to with the Wrath of Nature and even Sprout. And you know, what if Triumph got to deal with it? But look, Spectre can get ahead fairly well. That's a fairly strong defensive tri lane with the Lich there. I mean, that, that boosts up the, the strength of that tri lane with the, just with that Lich in there. It's, it's great. It means, it means they can boost Spectre's farm a little bit, or Spectre's experience, or they can make sure that the, the supports don't lag behind in terms of farm for, for a tri lane. It's yeah. fantastic. It's, I mean, Lich just wins lanes. They're they're really they're really betting on the idea that Spectre gets fat because oh yeah 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 like if Spectre gets nothing they're in a horrible horrible position and it has to rely on the TA but you know with a nice stalker pickup it shows that you know Pacific Dota just want to just at four minutes which is generally night time they just go say okay gank 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 and much aggression as possible. I wouldn't see any defensive plays from Pacific Dota at all. I just want to see them go full aggression right in Triumph's face and say, okay, we're going to gank your tri lane. We're going to make them so mm. underleveled and behind that just they're not going to be able to get back up. And Nature's Prophet's just going to gank 24-7, push the towers in and out, and just not give the room to farm at all. And I'm actually, I'm going to be paying a lot of attention to how the Nature's Prophets play, because I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, so... He's, he's one of my personal favorites, and he can be played in a variety of ways. Uh, ganking and pushing are obviously mean, too, but it, it really depends on personal flavor. Yeah, exactly right. So, so I was thinking, tactical but... pause comes out right there at the beginning of the game. <laughs> one, 26 seconds in there, we see a tactical pause being used by... Uh, they, ancient I don't blame them. They need their nature's prophet. He is the most important hero of the entire game. <laughs> He's definitely the nature's one. prophet player right there, but you know he 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 can certainly he's he's gonna be one of the carries in this game. If well, Stalker doesn't actually, you know, he doesn't need up. to be is the thing because <laughs> Death falls here too. <laughs> he doesn't need to be a carry in this game because they've got Big Weaver and they got Big Night Stalker. So uh, Prophet can definitely play a more uh, passive pushing role in this game, which is what I kind of want to see. I'm, 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 I'm not too worried. The Nature's Prophet's on it. He already has a ward. Uh, I think it might have been given to him by the, uh, the Night Stalker or. No, it was given to him by the ancient apparition. But, he now, but Nature's Prophet is armed with a ward. <laughs> <laughs> this will serve to make his vision, to increase his vision. It'll buff Nature's Prophet's vision. It'll give him more eyes in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's, and that coupled with his treance, give him so much vision for this early game. 
Um, the, 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 the Dyer team just won't be able to counter that. How do you... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe kill the treons. Usually, usually people use the treons to kill stuff and they, not to like ward. <laughs> they're gonna have to buy sentry wards and waste precious money on on sentries to counter that that buff vision that nature's prophet has. I think Night Stalker is also gonna be going for um like a no regen setup because he's already got three of those. Oh, tango three spotted leaves. tangos and then three pieces of woods. That's what he's going for. There we go. He's going for an early battle, then. He's, he's going for a heavy tango, too, because usually it's, like, two. Usually he gets spotted two tango. Ah, oh, he does. Ah, oh, he gave one back. <laughs> like, ah, oh, I don't need your lowly tangos. <laughs> Throw them away. He can pick up a level one smoke, by the way, with his turning gold. Well, that's anking with the ganks. Unfortunately, that shared tango that he did give to uh, Night Stalker, that Night Stalker just rejected, it now takes up a slot. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a bummer, so but that's okay. Yeah. Luckily, he didn't need that slot. Can we get the teams introduced, please? Ah, uh, go ahead. Uh, Josh, you can go ahead and do the uh, Radiant team. <laughs> okay, so this is the rematch between Pacific Doa and Triumph. We've got Eula as uh, Sand King, we got Riza as Night Stalker, Chang as Weaver, and Nature's Prophets being played as by Inma and Chanel as the Ancient Apparition. It looks like um, there's going to be a tri-lane with Ancient Apparition, Sand King, and Weaver bottom. Nature's probably not actually jungle. So, you want so to introduce the, uh, the die there? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll do have the honor. So we have Cotton Candy, who's actually a stand-in for TJ, playing on the, the Wind Ranger. It's again, happy Wind birthday, Ranger. Cotton Candy. We do have Mother Antlin and the Shadow Shaman, we do have Pancakes <laughs> on the Templar Assassin, we do have Happy Blob on the Lich, and Bubbles as the Carry Spectre. Mm. So, we're going to be having a defensive trial, which is with the Weibo, which I don't think this is not, not the right thing to do. I want the aggro to be switched up. I would want an aggro trial, but we do have um, Lich with the DD coming to the lane just to harass the, uh, the Nustalker. So, just a little bit of damage here and there, just saying, forcing the Nustalker back. And that's basically what they want to do. They just want to get this Nustalker down, because if he does actually get over the top, then she will, she will become a big problem for TG, a triumph. Sorry. It looks like Lich is just kind of roaming around uh, after bullying Night Stalker, giving giving TA a little bit of an advantage midline. Uh, did he already pop one of his Tango leaves? Uh, no, he uh, hasn't. He's, he's keeping him. He's, he's, he's tanky and strengthy. Yeah, he uh, didn't take as much damage as I thought he could. Must he's have been the uphill. He's back to full health now. Yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> Why didn't you attack Third him tactical before? pause. <laughs> <laughs> Although, le legitimately, they do actually have a disconnected player. Um, yeah, that's, that's the third I don't one. know. I don't know. How are we going to judge soccer. this? <laughs> do you think it's a legit pause? Or? What, what, is, what is the significance of this pause? What information are they pouring themselves over on the map right now? <laughs> it's uh, nice to see Prophet top lane, by the way. Yeah? You think this is the right choice? I, I don't know if it's the right choice. I think it's the most interesting choice, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, coming from, like, because I used to be a professional, semi-professional data player. I won't say I was professional, but I was semi-professional. But, uh, oh, yeah. I was, yeah. Anyway, I'll just take it to that. Uh, I would like to see this weaver aggro with the Sankey and the A to be up here, because you don't really want to give a Spectre too much farm, because, you know, hardest carry in the game, and, you know, give her a, a really, really early start. She's able to assist, you know, a global ulti, which is pretty huge in my opinion, especially on a carry to get assists across the map, even kills. Um, but yeah, I definitely want this weaver to be up in the uh, aggressive triangle, so these three heroes all the way up here, just to um, stop that spectre from farming in, you know. Lich is going to pretty get um, more experience out of this lane, you know, they just probably will get what she can, but honestly, I don't think it will be enough. Like, I want to see this profit down here against Windrunner, which is, I think, it's a fine matchup. For Nature's Prophet, I don't see anything. I mean, sure, I might have a bit of hard time, maybe levels 2, 3, because of maybe 5, because of Power Shot being leveled up. And you've got to be a player a little bit careful, but, like, yeah, there's not really too much to worry about in the Nature's Prophet being win on a matchup. But, you know, in the, win the middle lane, we do have Templar versus Nice Stalker. Very, very... I know, I've never seen the matchup before. It's very, very Templar sided, I would say, just into the later stages when Refract is leveled up, because it does block a lot of instances of damage, and it you know, is able to save a life majority of the time. Uh, but Night Stalker, you know, once you hit four minute mark, he gets a bottle, which you should probably get it right now. 
Uh, this kind of supports my idea that Nature's Prophet will not be going for a carry because he's not going to be getting as much gold top lane, and they know that. But they're going to delegate him some some less expensive items that aren't for killing, but more for pushing, like Necronomicon, which is relatively cheap. Oh, that pull is not enough. <laughs> I guess somebody somebody on their team got up. <laughs> Such such pausing, much tactical. Okay, I think we're good to go. Already, we got G's on both sides. They they have they have <clears throat> hundred over all that they could from the map. Excellent. Um. Right here, we're seeing a bit of aggressive play coming out by the Night Stalker there, uh, whittling. TA down to like almost half her health and she's had to eat one of her precious tangos. Night Stock still having both tangos, I think. Uh, Nature's Prophet. Yep. Oh, going in, going in mid. Refraction's gonna save her. Uh, refraction. He's, he's, yeah, he's heckling the hell out of her right now in mid. <laughs> she's low. My, Night Stock has the potential to actually burst her down already with that void taking 160 damage. Not with that refraction on though. He's gonna have to take off that re refraction before he goes in, I think. And that's refraction gone. Yep. We're also damage. seeing some very good micro plays up on by Nature Craft up at the top for a very for a while at least he was keeping up with Spectre and Farm simply well, usually with his at a chance. Usually at a, at a massive disadvantage there, just going with uh, you know being a solo lane. But you know, those treants definitely help with uh, harassing the supports a little bit, going in, taking a hit, and then running back. Not, up. he's not he's not harassing the supports with them. He's actually just going in for gold and last hits. Going in for last hits, yep. very safe last hits. Uh, TA detects that Night Stalker that probably got an uh, Invisor in there. No, something's up. We'll bottle Let's up see. for safety. Oh, walks past him. Is he going to get him? Oh, oh, oh. We're not oh, way good. out. We see the void come out. We see hits, but refraction will save her. Uh, very that tanky. refraction, currently already at level 2, taking out 4 instances of damage, really saved her life then. Um, yeah. There's the refraction so, taking that void again. That's 320 damage already negated by, by uh, refraction. Nice talking about having to bottle up. Void again, taking no damage. Yeah, he really needs to pop that or wait for it to decay for us because he's wasting tons of mana on that. And see, down with bot, Windrunner's being zoned pretty hard. Um, Weaver's getting fat. Weaver's actually the fattest in the game right now. Second only to, or not second, but uh, Night Soccer's below him just a little bit. Mm. Weaver's getting plenty. It's, easy. it's always very easy to farm as Weaver, though. Yeah, it is, with the double heads and stuff. Um, Shadow Shaman's he, picking up smoke. He can also farm very safely. Um, Shadow I think we're going to see a smoke gank by, uh, by top lane here against that Prophet. Yeah, because Lich is about to hit his level 3. I'm thinking they might... He's going to deny creep. There he goes. Sacrifice. He, we might see him rotate... We might see him and Shadow Shaman rotate mid for a gank, because as we know... Uh, Nightstalk is playing very aggressively and quite in control of mid tower. I mean, TA has to. If it wasn't for re refraction, TA would be almost gone by now. First night, by the way. First night. So this is when Nightstalk goes up. They're going for that rune. Nightstalk is going to grab that haste rune. Is he going to turn around or is he going to wait for a better time? He will wait. Bottle it. So he's going to he's going to buy this time a little bit on this. Mm, he's, we're going to see these guys come down. Well, I, I hope we see that. I certainly hope we see that. I just want to point out how cool Sand King's uh, jungling strategy is. <laughs> Oh, that's that's some advanced tactics right there. <laughs> Going camp by camp. I I love that the Sand King is jungling and the Nature's Prophet is solo top. <laughs> <laughs> you would think you would think uh, Sand King has a better escape, but I think they just think that whoever gets put Prophet, in top lane Prophet. is probably going to shit on and and Prophet has a better chance of getting farm out of the yeah out, later out game the, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got Night Stalker coming up for a late night gank. Won't get him though. That's too close to the tower. I don't think he'd dive it. Definitely can't dive it. But now they know. Now they know. Um, he's losing. He's losing. He's losing farm there. He's losing experience. So he, he did. Is. And it is night. He needs to take full advantage of that. I don't think he did though. He's still got about what three minutes left. But he's no. He's just going to use it to farm. Unfortunately, um, leaving Nature's Prophet up top again. Uh, Spectre is. Doing the most on their team in terms of gold per minute, but behind both Weaver and Nightstalker. 
Yeah, Weaver's getting a lot of a lot of gold there, having highest net worth. Uh, Night Stalker, just throwing out some. He's forcing he's forcing TA to use that refraction a lot, and it's just sucking up all that mana. He's not going to be able to go on that. Um, yeah, the thing is that TA is being forced to play these little games while Night Stalker is just free to farm. He is. So Night Stalker having how many last hits over the uh, TA? 18-2 and TA 14-0. It's not terrible. TA is getting in there, but that just being the fact that she's arranged here. Weaver, We're going to see them go on the nature's Weaver has almost now. twice as many last hits. See Shank as, come as... out. Dagger coming out. Uh, will I have enough to burst down? Lich is going to throw the Frost Blast. Nope, doesn't hit the Frost, frost Blast, it, although I think. If Lich came out with that Frost Blast earlier, that slow might have caused Nature's Prophet to be whittled down a little more just from, uh, from auto-attacking. But, unfortunately, Lich wasn't in range there. And Night Stalker... What's he thinking? What's he doing? He's just bottled up the region, hasn't he? Yeah. So he might make an aggressive play. He's just going to throw no, out. He's just screwing with her. He's going to throw out a <laughs> region up when he, when he gets his chance. We've been getting are... free farm. Look at that. 37 and 6 for free farm 38. Now, being left well alone by the Windrunner, who actually has managed to get a bit of good farm as well, but I think at this stage, Weaver's just concentrating on farming. No, Weaver is dominating that lane. He has the picket, and he's doing a great job last hitting. They're, they're, this Prophet is doing something very cool to me. He is playing these mind games with his creeps, and that's all he's doing, and it's driving all three of them insane. <laughs> he's actually just, just disrupting that jungle. Because as you know, with a, with a tri-lane, um, the two supports tend to jungle when they can, just so they don't get too far behind. It's not really a pub game, so they try to not get too far behind. Nightstalker goes in. But Very aggressive. We've got Yuffie coming in. Stun the Shadow Shaman. Night Stalker will burst down the Shadow Shaman. Are we going to see a first blood? We are. We're going to see a first blood of the nice. Shadow Shaman. The Night Stalker, followed by the Spectre Death. Two for the Night Very Stalker nice. on his first night. We didn't think he was going to do it. Will, this, will he make it three? Silence is on the Lich. Lich gets, Ooh. gets sprouted. And Night Stalker running around this bush and saying, Why you do this to me, Nature's Prophet? <laughs> Prophet gets the last laugh. Prophet says, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I killed Lee. <laughs> They're going to take this tower, too. He better send those creeps back to do some damage. Oh, no, he's... He's, he's clotting the lane. God, this is good. I like this guy. <laughs> they got this. Nature's probably going to probably pull that. Try and pull that to stop the lane, will he? No. No, he just pulls it right back. All right. Fair enough. Thank so pulls the hard lane. Sun, yep. And we're going to see the uh, the sandstorm come out. But it's a little effect, unfortunately. I don't know about that. They should have kept... Oh, the Sand King screwed it up. He did. He screwed up the pull. See, <sighs> farm taking, trying to get some farm bottom now. Now, this Weaver has twice as many last hits. This is not looking good for Spectre. <laughs> At least on an early game. He's got that late game. He's, he's already got his ultimate orb at, ultimate orb at eight minutes. Weaver does. And Shadow Shaman rotate <sighs> down, along with the Lich. Are they looking to get a gank on that... That really tanky Night Stalker right now. 1,271 HP. Nine minutes I think they're going to try to bait with that uh, TA. <sighs> they are. The TA is not going to go in too far to make it too obvious, but that, they're, they're thinking that Night Stalker is going to come in. Do they have any wards? No, Radiant doesn't have any wards. They don't know. So we see them He's still... Being, Shadow Sh He's being very right. cautious. Uh, he is. He, he senses something. Everyone's missed. Nature's Prophet's got no one on top. He knows. But Sand King rotates in as long as... Along with AA. They see they go on the Night Stalker. Will this He's work? Down. Shadow Shaman throws shackles and they're going to pick off the Night Stalker. Sand King will come in. Stand up the, sh stand up the Shadow Shaman. Followed by Cold Feet. They're going to kill that Shadow Shaman up. And they should probably... Turn out to be one for one. Not great for Doa, but acceptable at this point in the game. Uh, the death of their Night Stalker for a Shadow Shaman. It's not like Prophet they could have that time to take the top tower. Uh, sorry? Prophet took the top tower during that time as well. I did. So Was it? A Shadow Shaman denied that tower up there. <laughs> I, just looked, I just looked up and I saw him push halfway through the uh, lane. You know, sort of expect oh. Nature's Prophet to, to have taken that tower, didn't you? Yeah, they? Nature's they, getting on it. They all <laughs> sand, sand King. He uh, he went into his little sandstorm thing there, and then basically all the creeps went back, and that put the tower in the night range while the while the lane pushed up. Um, Weaver, they're still dominating that lane with twice as many last hits as the Night Stalker, which is coming in second place in terms of last nights. Their net worth. <laughs> 
<laughs> Weevil was at 4,200 net worth. Night Stalker, not too far behind, but 700 gold at this point in the game at 10 minutes in. Uh, we've got three heroes in mid, trying to wait just wait. Uh, AA ult gets dropped out. Uh, that Weaver, yeah, Weaver. This one, uh, Weaver's got time lapse, so they need to take him down. He's mm. got, ooh, too well, much CC. Weaver's gonna be able to get out. out of there. They know, they know. Too much. Weaver's, yeah. gonna, Weaver's gonna get killed there, unfortunately. Here Four. comes Night Stalker, though, to try to clean up house. Is he gonna get Shadow? He, he does. He does. He's gonna go back there. He gets fished on all of them. Go through the trees. Spectre just goes through the trees, gets himself stuck, but he will be safely in the trees. Night Stalker, no quelling and no tangos, unfortunately. He knows where he is. Night Stalker knows where he is. Just yeah. do anything about it. And, and Spectre cannot get to that, uh, that TP. <laughs> just out of range of the TP there. Oh, Sand King, he could, he could burrow. <laughs> he could burrow. <laughs> Uh, they, they don't to know there anymore. It's it's unreliable right now. By now, yeah, they assume that she teleported out. All he has to do is burrow strike, and that's it. But he's not going to do it because he doesn't think she's still in there. No. Uh, so San King bides himself, bides his time, saves his burrow strike right into a tactical pause. I <laughs> think. <laughs> I think uh, something out there. We do have the three of them over here, so they're probably going to take this tower. I don't think they'll get Spectre because she's just going to uh, dagger strike to the uh, secret shop and get a TP. But this is all time being eaten up while they're being productive and taking down towers. Who pinged that lane? Uh, Brown, so Spectre. Spectre's pinging. He's saying, help me. <laughs> Mayday. <laughs> oh, there's no way he can get out. There's no way he can get out. He could risk... I mean, he he could definitely risk throwing a dagger that way. Oh, I can't I can't write. It looks like I can't no. Write. Just all he has to do is uh oh, because it's paused. Yeah, all he has to do is go to the secret shop and it should be fine. Yeah, I don't know why he bought a town portal. On <laughs> accident, he was panic clicking. Was just out of range, so I went to his stash. He could definitely afford another town portal and get out if he wanted to. There's probably not a lot he could do aside from go back to base right now. I don't think he's going to get enough health back to actually sustain a fight. <laughs> what he he could almost use. Ha uh, spectral haunt to maybe mm, no. She she would if she was smart she would teleport back to home and then if she an would, engagement happened all time she would have to yeah, she would have to. There's, I mean Nothing. the only thing she could do is spectral haunt, but that wouldn't help anything. If she showed her face, she would get silenced by uh, Night Stalker and be dead. <laughs> That's all there is to that. Oh, she'll just get she'll just get wailed on by anything. Like yeah, her illusions would just like die in a hit or two, and yeah, she has her, to go back. Her real self would also probably die in like three hits. But the, the lineup right now, you, you see TA at spawn, you see um, Shadow Shaman going mid with Lich. So I think TA might teleport bot to defend with a Windrunner, but but Spectre can't be there unless she teleports back first, and that'll take a few seconds. Um, Nature's Prophet, one of the few times when he's where he's not going for a Midas, that's obviously due or not jungling. Um, yeah. So he's exactly. still stuck on Rick of Bass and, and Phase Boots, so he's, he's going to be sort of ganky. Night Stalker picked up the earlier and then a wand. Lich, mm, Lich is doing his, his hard time as support. I haven't kept that salve, uh, but I think he might be going to going for Ring of Bass if Shadow Shaman hasn't already got it. Um, so they're still the supports are still on, well, literally on brown boots for uh, Triumph. That Spectre on Phase and uh, Poor Man's Shield, not enough, not enough at this stage. It's only 11 minutes in, I'll give him a benefit of a doubt. Spectre, Spectre admittedly did not get as much done as she could have in the top lane but, with that Charlie. No, but if you, if you compared that to like what what they have on uh, on Doa, Sand King's got his Arcanes, um, Night Stalker has his bottle, his treads, and his own charges. Well, what don't forget that Nature's Prophet was playing those mind games up top lane, denying a lot of that uh, jungle farm. He was, he was doing very well. Um, but look at the Weaver. The Weaver is on... Treads and, and an ultimate orb and a, and a ring of bass. That's two rings of bass on that team. <laughs> bottom tower. Well, they only picked that up for the landing phase. They're not going to build items off of it. Profit might if he goes for a Vlad's or something, but it, it, we were just going to sell that eventually or yeah. build it up to a ply list. Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, Profit's going Vlad's. I think he might actually. He picked that up for the uh, the creep durability. Really? Yeah, yeah that, that in out won't fall. But we see the haunt come in. You see a very low-level haunt come in. Um, trying to go for the Sand King. Sand King will get picked off by Windrunner, and Windrunner will be killed by the tower. <laughs> but 
but Shadow Shaman picking up that by by uh, means of doing some, some damage before Windrun dies. And <laughs> how long has Spectre been there? Game time. Too long. Games. Like for thirty seconds. <laughs> oh really? I'm sure she's been there longer. No. Huh? Maybe a minute Maybe or more. Ah, they, he's, he's free. <laughs> I'm free. Actually, that's nothing what Spectre. That's not what Spectre sounds like. <laughs> that's a very bad Spectre impression. I'm sorry. Oh, we see the tree spread go on. Oh, and that's a cool thing that they have no choice of doing. We see the dust on the. Uh, they're not going to kill her. They're not going to be able to kill her. But we see the yeah. AL. Not sure if that's enough. Ooh, good old, good old. The AL. Nice. Good be nice. That's enough. That is definitely enough. Void will pick her off. Very nice. Well played. Let's nice see. Thanks about going on the Shadow Shaman. He potentially could. He is so tanky. Right? Look at the tower doing very sli slivers of damage. Mere slivers of damage to the Night Stalker. He could have potentially went in there. But I think he knows the Shadow Shaman has a lot of control. He will! He will! Silence the Shadow Shaman. See the TP. We'll get his yeah. we'll get his ass out of there. Stunned by the <laughs> by the tank. Oh my god. Then, but unfortunately Night Stalker gets stopped in the wards. Well, we see him dead. Trying to help him out there, getting his trying to bash his way out. <laughs> he won't get away. No. Uh, <laughs> but Zen King goes on the lich. Weaver goes in on the, on the lich as well. That's a dead lich by the Weaver. And we see Al gonna hit nothing. Uh, Weaver, Weaver will get out of there. Is he trying to take some farm? Nature's Prophet's gonna steal a bit of farm off the woods. There, they're equal about <laughs> a creep at this stage in the game. About the same value as a creep on getting last hit. I mean, Prophet is actually getting his uh, Midas, and he just got that. Oh, he he just got a Midas? He did. Yep. Picks up a 14 minute Midas there. That's okay. That that still puts him uh, well and truly to be viable late game. Yeah, Prophet never is too late to get a Midas, really. It's true. But, I mean, within reason, but, you know, 14 minutes, you can do that. Stop it, that. It, it, uh, He's gonna fall again. He's gonna go in viz, but we're gonna. They have dust. Well, are, are we gonna see swarm? No, that. What was that? A blink? Yeah. She already has a blink. Okay. She has a blink, but no boots. Ah, there we go. So we're still trying to locate out nature's Profit prophet. Duking it out. Void hits up, stuns him up there, and that's gonna be yeah. a dead TA. <laughs> This is a this is a hard fight. For Set kick comes and saves the day. A hey, alt hits two. No hits. Yep. Nice. Still three of them. Bursts down the shadow shaman. And now he's gonna wreak havoc if he gets gets his way. Mm. No, he just keeps on going. I don't think he can do this. Lloyd's going. Oh. He's gonna dive it. Dive it. Dive it. Dive it. Gonna be able to hit her, but we'll earn her up. And I think. Get her. Get her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he comes the ult. <laughs> Throws the ult and the dead and I saw it makes him pay for the fact that he died. That's right. It was an honorable death. <laughs> an honorable <laughs> Prophet doing his pushing thing made Spectre's gonna try to get some farm top in the meantime. To what Kind of to what uh, the Radiant have been doing. Spectre is getting a bit of farm and pushing a little bit. Pings come out. I don't think Spectre's going to be able to get this down. Uh, especially they're pinging for Nature's Prophet to go kill Spectre. Or to stop him at least. Lich is going to get out. We might uh, Nature's Prophet die here. We really Radiant could. Yep. Nobody TP's out. They don't have any stuns. They can't get him. him. And he gets out. He's buying a shadow by the way. He picked up. What the hell was that? <laughs> Dust for the sake of it. Um, the Prophet has the same more than to get in the Shadow Blade next, but that was a waste of dust because he does not yet have a Shadow Blade. Give it come out. Um. <laughs> oh! Mm. Good arrow. Chrono. Well, Good whatever. time lapse. Excellent. Good escape. And Spectre tries to get in to find the Weaver, but ultimately not succeeding. But <laughs> gets well done by the Night Stalker at the, at the same time. That's Night, Night Stalker is 8 and 4 and spiraling out of control slowly. Working on his, uh. Ooh, that, that'll be a BKB. I reckon that'll be a BKB. Or a, uh, it could be a Sand. No, they're gonna go for a BKB because this team has way too much CC to not get one. Alright, you heard it here first. Going for a BKB. <laughs> Let's see if uh, it indeed turn, turns out to be correct. It's all about the strength. <laughs> Thank you.
Weaver and Night Stalker both running for that room, but Weaver ultimately says, you can have a Night Stalker. They, they saw him pick up the Invis room, so they should be more intrepid. He probably won't be able to get a successful gank off of that, oh, unless yeah. Lich... Except he spots Lich, no, like Dr. Nose. Ooh, uh, Shadow Shark. Uh, oh, he goes to uh, He sees his prey. Mission there. Drops the, drops the ward, but there we go. Void, <laughs> followed by the night time. He's just going to get burst down there. The urn, he's going to follow him up. Is Lich going to turn around? Shackles helps. Shackles possibly saving Lich. Lich goes back in. No. No, he gets out. I think Lich Down wanted to throw a, a frost blast there, oh, but oh, oh, yeah. oh, hey, oh. Hey, hey. oh, Lich winds around. Oh, we got him. Unfortunately, not enough. That Lich needs to it's go down. Get him. Lich needs to go to to die. We see an engagement at the bottom. Um, ah. not getting caught out there. The Weaver. Oh, they just probably Dyer's falling back a little bit. Lich only because of his now is Ray getting. That tower mid, and they're going to push forth. Well, all the while, our Spectre farms. Now, in the first game, we cast a Josh. Do you think we're going to see the Spectre come back? Because with the sprint that Spectre is getting, I mean, Spectre was like in sixth spot for most of that game. In the first game, yeah. so we're going to see him come back. Because Lich is going to pick himself up a almost a Sand King. We just need some AOE coming out now. Well, the concerning thing about the this game. It's not so good. Hits the lit, hits the uh, Weaver. Weaver's gonna get it, get thrown down there with the shackles. Uh, <laughs> Nature's Prophet diving deep in there just to get a mech. Well, here's the thing about this game is that um, Spectre is actually behind their supports now in terms of gold, and this Prophet is not gonna be the type to let the game drag on long enough to let her see the type of feed that she had in the game that we spectated. Denying that tower there, Spectre. Being playing, being a little bit wary of trying to get that last hit on the tower, decides to dagger out and then TP in. So not, so missing out on 500 gold for his team now. Speaking of gold, we're gonna go to the difference in gold uh, now. Pacific Doa have almost 14,000 gold advantage over Triumph. There, at no point were they on the other end um, in terms of XP. Going up and down a little bit, but now squarely about seven and a half thousand in the land of Pacific Doa now. Um, what do you think, Josh? Will that, will that uh, heavy farming spec to be able to get his way eventually and just farm his way out of this defeat? Spectre, well, it's it's really hard to to see any silver lining for a triumph this game because they got Prophet who you know picked up a late Midas, but he's still an interest Prophet. He's still got Midas, and he already beat in net worth. Uh, Night Stalker and Weaver. So they have Weaver, Nature's Prophet, Night Stalker, and Sand King. All the head of their top carry is just miserable. It's a miserable like, outlook. They're going to shackle out. They're going to try and shackle up on this. But he goes invisible. Do we have dust? We have dust get thrown out, and that's a dead Nature's Prophet being hexed and then disturbed by the TA. We see the A get rolled, get dropped. Won't do anything, but it might force them back. No, Night no, Stalker comes in! Oh. First down that Shadow Shaman. Fall back for us. Alt. Shadow Shaman. Oh! oh. Getting a TA gets out of there. Melds in to safety. They don't have dust, so TA will just stay there for a while. Blinks into the bushes. Probably to TP back because she can't do anything. Prophet's going after Windrunner. It's not an eat her way out of the tree, I think. No, well, maybe she should <laughs> out. Doesn't get away from Sand King now. Get away on this one, fortunately. The Sand that King. Too fast. There, and they're going to start lay siege this tower and basically burst it down very quickly. There, you're going to see that before the minute is up. You're going to see that tower go down. That was a that was a good recovery by their part. It was. Um, now we see Weaver picked, picking up. Uh, how close is Lincoln's? We, we picked up his Lincoln's a while ago. It looks like. Um, Sand King has gotten his Blink Night Stalker, got his BKB, and he managed to use it that last fight. Unfortunately, nothing happening here. Oh, look! Uh, TA's picked up his boots, dude. Um, <laughs> boots on TA. Brown boots. <laughs> so, so this is what I meant, by the way. So while Spectre is actually farming, but they're still pushing down the Rax Towers. Let's so see. unless they can buy the time. Spectre knows that they can't push because they've got Shadow Shaman's got the ward there. They can mount a really good defense. Spectre haunts in, goes in on the AA, yeah, the weakest point there. They need to stun him. They need to stun him. They do. They hex him out, and uh, Shadow Shaman gets the kill with his lightning thing, whatever it's called. Another shock. Uh, now they're going to go on the... Oh, Oh no! Bad choice, TA! You are gonna get first down by that Weaver. Having no control, she's gonna meld back again. Too much CC for him. Too much CC. Oh, he can't time left out. And he falls. Sand King stunning three heroes. And no ults for him, but Nature's Prophet. Prophet's getting crazy. And now they're peeing on the Spectre. 
Spectre almost got his uh got half of his weight. Oh, gift kill with that. That was beautiful. That tank can die for it. That tank king will no. Yes. Oh. <laughs> right into the middle of the two towns. They don't know what to do. Just out. Oh. And, uh, uh, they frost. They frost blast the tank king to death. That's gonna throw Spectre's um, radiance. He's farming for radiance now, and uh, you know he's he was moments away from getting his uh, sacred relic there, but um, ultimately Spectre will now is a yeah, sacred now. relic. Uh, that's what Spectre's going for right now. But she recently <laughs> died at some point. <laughs> I didn't see when. Uh, was that during the team fight? Because she's at thirty four hundred gold. Prophet picks up his uh, Necronomicon. Excellent choice for pushing. Uh, not going for the carry build, just going for the uh, passive push this game. Mm, they, they're in good position to go for the push right now because they've effectively yep. forced Triumph, the entire Dire team back into their base. They have complete... P P Pacific Doa have complete map control over now. Um, yeah, which, very good team fights in, the, in their, their favor. It just looks like they're just dominating from... I think Weaver's just doing all that damage, and they've just been dominated by the Night's Talk from, from the get-go, you know? Well, it, it doesn't matter really who's doing all, all the damage, because they're very strong at this point. Even Prophet's doing lots of lot right click damage with his phase boots and uh, Shadow Blade. Sand King getting a stun there and taking off the Shadow Shaman with his ultimate. That puts Triumph at a very huge disadvantage in defending this tower right now. We see the Lich Ult come out, we're gonna see it bounce onto the AA, but ending there, the Sand King just being out of range. The Sand King was about there, and the uh, AA was probably sitting about there, just out of range. Mm. Nice Soccer nice again diving behind the tower to get those kills. Mm. Nice. Spectre's going in for a haunt. Deep, and we see a pause again because the Shadow Shaman has disconnected. <laughs> okay, let's take a quick overview of items right now and see what's up. All right, what do we got here, Josh? Go ahead and make the calls. I'll. Uh... Well, I'm just gonna. Uh, I like Prophet's build again. I, I kind of called that. He's going for his his pushing build right now. Weaver has only his Lincoln Sphere, but I mean he's got tons of gold. He's got 1,400 on hand. I don't know what he could oh, be building he, next. Now. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. Well, Nature's Prophet, no death, sir. Night Stalker, no death, sir. Uh, okay, so I'm going to say, I'm going to take a stab and just say Weaver's probably going to go for a death, sir, next. Um, what do you think on the Nature's Prophet? Do you think he's going to pick up that uh, mid game, um, Vlad? I think he's going to, sure. he's going to, no, he's going to upgrade his Necronomicon to level three first, and then he's probably going to sell Basilius because Vlad is really uncommon on Prophet, and pick up something, probably Deslo. Actually, now that you mention that, well, I'm like Weaver's going to go for the Desso. I, 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 he, he's certainly saving us his money for the Desso. He's going to get his Mithril Hammer or whatever those things are called. This is true. He could also be going for a Radiance. Mm, a Radiance. Do you, I think I definitely think a Desso would be more useful to him right now than a Radiance. Perhaps, but I, I would say that it's probably more likely for Prophet to go for the Desolator and to let Re Weaver have the uh, the Radiance. Um, it looks like Sand King actually opted for an Agonims over a Radiance himself, and um, AA is Sand being... Sand King got a Radiance. Um, yeah, I don't, it's not too common for Sand King to get a Radiance. He, I think you're oh, right I'm sorry, I thought you called that. And um, I thought, I'm sorry, I thought you called that, rather. No, 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 I never didn't say. Um, Sand King misses a stun, but... <laughs> Nature's Prophet tries to tree him in, but he will dagger oh. him out. Hey, hey, Spectre walked land, right into and that. Spectre... No, Spectre is okay. He won't get killed by the AO. But the entire Dire team going back into yeah. the relative safety of their pool. It's, it's Not just much that... to speak of in <laughs> terms of items on their team, by the way, on Triumph's team. Uh, four stuff on the win, win runner there. Uh, just picked up treads just now by the Templar Assassin. So Templar Assassin has treads and blink. Dagger. Unfortunately, his net worth is th fourth last in the game. Not too, not looking too good for the uh, for the TA there. Um, Spectre still working on that Radiance farm. Just yeah, that, that's man shield and uh, and a face. Almost shield. there. If Very close. This, if you compare this to the last Spectre, you, you 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 can definitely tell the Spectre's hungry on farm just by the fact that he got a poor man's shield instead of a Vanguard. The Vanguard is like. <laughs> no, not That's true. Actually, choice. the um, the the Spectre in the last game actually had both poor man's and Vanguard. 
Oh, really? Well, you can afford two cars. I mean, the, the, the Vanguard is <laughs> the Rolls Royce shield here, whereas the Spectre can only get that. Could you call it a Toyota Corolla? It's a Toyota Corolla. Getting the Toyota Corolla, Corolla of shields, whereas the last Spectre got the uh, the Rolls Royce of shields. Our um, hero, Nature's Prophet, is helping out with the Roshan effort right now. I think they're catching on. I'm not too sure, though. Already a third of the way down on that Roche. They're going to get spotted out. I, I don't think they can do anything. TPs away, so obviously they're not gonna they're not gonna contend this. They're not gonna contest this Roche. They're just gonna let him have it. But at the same time, they're not really pushing for. They're just hanging around, waiting for Roche to die. They know Roche is happening. They can't do anything about it. They're yeah. Hanging around. I don't know why. I, it's that no, they can't do anything. You just said it yourself. It's that depressing moment in the game when you realize where the enemy team is, and you just like, well, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I think I think they should have been pushed in lane. They, they should probably be pushing top lane. They oh. can't turn it around because look at that big wave there. Look at that big push by Nature's Prophet. He's taking advantage of them. Yeah, and this is why I don't think Spectre's going to have the time to actually uh, make that comeback. That they, have zero, they have zero map control. They're not going to have time. Gets four staffed in. Um, dust put out two dust users on the Nature's Prophet. Yes. <laughs> Nature's Prophet died. Spectre there. One last hit. So they do pick off the pushing Prophet, but now we're going to see the siege begin mid. Yeah, so it, it, even even though it's little by little, those towers are falling, and that's something that we didn't see. Um, we were getting next up there, but we'll be able to actually uh, Sakuchi himself out there. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Shaman instantly being stunned up by the tank and killed off by the Night Stalker. Weaver, time lapses out again, so back to full, relatively full health. Um, Night Stalker just in the shit. Night, Night Stalker's just fully in the shit there, tanking up everything, taking all the damage. Uh, do you think he's gonna fall? I think he might actually fall. Here no. comes tanking with his ult. Tanking with his ult, destroying. Oh, we were trying to chase up for a kill. Mm. Hope he doesn't die. So that'd be a bad Only choice. three heroes left on Triumph, but they get back. Uh, Nature's Prophet being killed early there, but they ultimately survived. They could continue the siege. They could continue the siege. It looks like Weaver are uh, actually going for there. You go to the middle of hammers, going for the Desolator. Uh, Nature's Prophet? Ooh, what he's got? He's got a Necronomicon too, so he's gonna finish up his Necronomicon. Sand King stuns up the Windrunner, forces us, four staffs herself out there, we see the AL come out there, hitting the... This tower's going down. Nobody, but that, that tower has been slowly picked, uh, sieged off there, it's just... That... Mm. Yeah, Prophet's going back to continuing his efforts Prophet. against... Yep, doing the, the old rat to split pushing strategy there, pushing in top. With his Necro at, sitting at level 2 now, so he's going to have a lot more push. He's not casting his Necro, interestingly. Not casting his Necro for that extra push. Night Stalker BKBing to ensure that tower yeah, dies. Going for the range barracks yet, because I think they're going to count on the fact that they're going to get pushed back a little bit. Only uh, only 6 seconds left on his BKB now. Uh, thank you. are going in. Shadow Shaman. Hey, I'll drop an out. Hits the Lich. Lich. But ultimately to know if... Ooh, they, yep, they're going to get that Lich. Oh, Aegis. He did not get the uh... That Lich is going to go down to 90 and... No! Lich doesn't die! Very close! About 30 or 40 damage away from being killed. When we just took out AA. Yep. Hey, Sand, Sand King borrows in, hits two heroes, but... Mm, a, bit, a little bit too tanky for him right now. It, during this, by the way, Prophet just took out melee racks up top. Very nice. <laughs> That's what he was saving his necro book for, by the way. He was saving it to have more time against the racks. Right to burst down that rack, and they're gonna take the range racks. It's gone. Like, cannot be stopped. Yeah, you're not having enough damage to stop it. The Spectre gets her radium, but it's too late. They took racks. It's, it's going down. Um, um, that should prompt out. Perhaps a GG call. No, they're gonna try and defend that range racks. They still have the range racks. Spectre haunting in, killing that Sand King. Needs dust. Doesn't have dust, but realizing that he'll gonna get brought down by radiance, will come up. He will die with radiance. He will die with radiance. He got cooked. Oh. Too li too little, too late. Unfortunately, I don't think there's that. They're not gonna Spectre's gonna be able to do much. Uh, we won't be able to take out the Spectre. Spectre get having having his radiance now. Um, we're gonna see turn around because they're not calling the GG. They're one, the half of their racks have gone. Profit gets taken down. There we go. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe Spectre can turn it's, around. The thing about the Spectre is, as soon as he gets his Radiance there, that basically chunks him up a whole lot in terms of, uh, in terms of getting getting shit done, in terms of doing work. Spectre's efficacy has just increased by like pretty much threefold in in what he can do. He can farm. 
He can farm so easily now. He's so useful in, in team fights. I mean, what is that? At, at level 2 now, duration 6. He's about to get level 16. Duration 7. 7 duration on each of his haunts with that radiance doing 60, uh, 50 damage, 50 burn damage. So let's have a quick... Let's do some quick Dota maths now. Uh, she so, just picked up a, a vitality booster, by the way. She's going for a heart, probably. She's going for a heart. And as we know, we've seen Spectres turn around with that massive heart. Um, look, the... PC Doa aren't as in trouble late game as uh, the last time we saw the Spectre because they do have a Weaver and they do have a Nature's Prophet and they do have a very tanky Night Stalker. But with that yeah. Spectre working on his heart now, we're gonna see we're gonna see a bit of a turnaround here. They might they won't be able to push as aggressively. But what's working for them is the fact that they they're half they've taken half the enemy racks already and they're well and truly working on the on on the uh, the lower racks there. Probably going to take out the tower very soon now. If it doesn't fall this wave, it might fall the next wave. It's likely to fall. Yeah, so they did not take their advantage for granted. Uh, uh, so it, we, it could even be too late for Spectre now. But with Spectre and that Radiance, you know, 7 seconds of 5 heroes, so 7 times 35 times 50. What's 35 times 50, Josh? Uh, <laughs> like uh, 1,500. Yeah, that's about 12, 1,200 damage just with that. That's just with Specs, Alt, and the Radiance. So, but nice pushing very well aggressively into the t into the into the uh, base now. Lich Alt gets thrown out, but Spectre gets busted down. <laughs> we see, uh, we see, we see um, Sand King get stuck there. But is that another Alt? Is that another Alt? No, it's not. That's the original Alt. By Lich, um, they're going to try and burst down the Night Stalker. Night Stalker will be able to TP out there, I think. Oh, that's a global shackle there. <laughs> um, unfortunately, for the cost of a Sand King, Pacific Dota, uh, Pacific Dota managed to kill off the Spectre and the TA. That's that's both their carries gone. Um, they should be taken. Nature's Prophet will take advantage of the situation and push bottom very hard. Summoning his Trance. Uh, 12 seconds left on his Necro 3 now. <sighs> if we were taking out the Shadow Shaman, they, they can't stop this. They can't. They can't. No. It's just distracting them while nature's prop take, taking uh, bottom. At, at this point, last uh, in the uh, DTO game, the Spectre had a Vanguard, and she was working on her heart. Uh, and that, I mean, having having the radiance is nice, but it's not it's not going to be enough with the racks down. And this this prophet isn't playing games. He's going to take down the racks. He's going to go for mega creep next. He's treating this as serious business, you see. And he's gonna he does you no know, he does have enough for Shadow Blade. We see Dust come out. Dust the Nature's Prophet, but unfortunately, Spectre missing is. <laughs> We're gonna see Weaver take out the uh, bottom racks the now, now along with the Night Stalker. So they're gonna be going for the throne. They are all up, except the Weaver's a little low, but the Weaver's not gonna bother. Prophet did get her uh, his death, uh, death letter, by the way. I called that. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Oh, got both had death letters. Weaver and Prophet. Um, Spectre haunting in there, but. Doing very little, managing to just kill the Weaver, mostly with Radiance Burn and a few attacks, but Spectre having to back up himself now because of all the damage he's sustained. Um, yeah, I, I, I suspect we're going to see the GG call very soon. They're, they're hanging in there. They're not wanting to surrender this game because there's no reason to. I mean, this is the last game they'll play against uh, Pacific if they lose. So they're going to they're gonna hang in there. They're going to draw this out. They're gonna make they're gonna make uh, Pacific Dota work for that win, I think. Yeah, they're gonna have to. And the thing is, if, well, you know, how much, how hard is is uh, Pacific gonna have to work for this win? Because they, they could just push in at any time. They could literally be throwing. Oh, they could literally be throwing bodies at the towers and at the throne, and they would win. I don't. Oh God, I didn't realize how far behind they were in towers. They've still got a mid tier one tower. Fear yep. by its magic. Oh, here comes the spawn camp. <laughs> dive, so that means that means it's pretty much. Over. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower. Spectre will get frozen up, but he's gonna choose to hide in the trees when he gets cold feeded. The <laughs> merciful master prophet pushes for the throne. <laughs> he really doesn't play games, does he? No, he wanted to win. <laughs> Uh, that was 30,000 gold. In, uh, that was their advantage? Christ. Yeah, that was the advantage. A little like the last game. That was way, it was way over that. Look at the line. It's just like stacked at 30,000. 
<laughs> no, that that line gets reset to that. Ah, oh, I see. Although I think it does end where it ends up, so it's just over thirty thousand. That was a good game. Amazing game. That actually was a really good game. Um, Triumph, congratulations to uh, Pacific Do and commiserations to Triumph. But Triumph put up a, a, a very good fight throughout. Yeah. It's just a very it is. It's, uh, it's, it's hard to beat. Um, and unfortunately, we saw Spectre get his radiance and things changed quite dramatically there, but unfortunately not enough. Too little too late. Too little too late, yeah. For how far that Nature's Prophet pushed in all the towers along, you know, with that Desert Weaver and everything. That was just too much burst damage. So we see the game being dominated early on by Night Stalker and then followed yeah, up. Yeah, it never stopped. They didn't let up. Uh, that was the mistake made in the game that we first spectated with uh, Spectre because they did. They, they took it for granted and these guys never did. And that's why they won. They, they just made uh, Night Stalker and Weaver spiral out of control. So much fun with that Weaver early game too, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. But <laughs> ending up with the highest net worth, we, of course, we see the uh, the Midas buying Nature's Profit. And as you said, Nature's Profit, um, Midas works at any time with Nature's Profit. You know, we see your 14-minute Midas still managed to get the highest net worth. So there you go. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We have been uh, Vinny and Joshua casting for you along with uh, Andy and Maya um, doing the camera work and a bit of insight there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and uh, I think we have one more game coming up. I'm not sure, but uh, if we don't, good goodbye. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. All right, everyone. Good night.